welcome back to my channel. Uh, sorry it has been a little while since I have done a video. I'm hoping that everything goes okay in this video or else I'm not gonna upload it. And maybe even if it's a little chaotic I still might upload it because that's just my life now. And so if I'm gonna create content, I'm sorry this is how it's gonna be sometimes. I hope you understand. But this was a video that I wanted to do like five months ago and I just didn't get around to it. I did end up posting Instagram stories on the Lug Mini Dory. And I expressed in those Instagram stories, if you happen to see them, that I did not like this bag. Uh, not that I hated it, but it just wasn't for me for several different reasons. I thought it was really cute. I, you know, liked some features, but overall it just wasn't working out for me. Five months later, Lug releases the Mini Dory and a plethora of new colors and patterns and now it is one of my favorite bags and we're going to talk about why. So today I'm going to do a review what's in my bag and a try on on the Lug Mini Dory. So right now you're seeing it in Whimsy Black. This is a newer pattern from Lug. I love this pattern so much. It actually reminds me so Lug does have a sister pattern to this called Whimsy Copper. I'll stick a photo of Whimsy Copper, something in Whimsy Copper uh, right here so you can kind of compare. Same pattern, just a different color scheme. Love Whimsy Copper. I do think it is beautiful. Um, my dogs are over here fighting, so you or fight playing, so you might hear that. Sorry about that. I do think Whimsy Copper is beautiful but Whimsy Black is right up in my alley. I love black backgrounds. I love the color blue and you're just getting um, lots of beautiful dark colors here that pop. It's almost like you're seeing a floral garden in the moonlight. That's kind of what this reminds me of. Speaking of a floral garden in the moonlight, this sort of reminds me of Vera Bradley's Moonlight Garden. Completely different patterns are not the same. The illustrations are not the same. Some of the colors aren't even the same. But just it's just the concept of a darker background, whether it be black or navy, and all of these just flowers that glow. So that's just kind of a little bit on, on the pattern. And actually, I might go ahead and do the review of the bag on my olive one here. This is olive. It's a green color. And I did pair it with my, so it doesn't come with this strap. This is the print Wildflower Olive, which is my top favorite print that Lug has ever done. Um, I would say a second favorite is Butterfly Gray. I have so much in Butterfly Gray. Um, and if I am good at doing this review thing again, like good meaning like consistent, I will hopefully show you all of the Lug that I have amassed over the past several months. I did take a break for a while there and then I started getting back into like looking at QVC and, and stuff like that so I do have a few things. I will try to do a video uh, but I actually got the Lug Canter. I'll stick a picture either of my Canter or just a stock photo of a Canter right here. I got this for Christmas I think last year. If not last year it was the year before. I can't recall, but I found one on Amazon and my uh, boyfriend asked me what I wanted for Christmas. And I said, I want this cancer. I love this print. And so he got me that for Christmas. This is the strap to that bag. And for the olive color, Love is now using the Wildflower Olive interior. They usually use, I think, herringbone aqua, and then they use like confetti lining for their, some of their olive bags. They, they change it up. That's just what Lug does and I love that um, they, that they do that. But this is my favorite. So I had to pair my one inch Cantor Wildflower Olive Strap with that. But I will go ahead and say as we start the review here, it does come with the one and a half or 1.5 inch matching color strap. It only comes with the one strap. I know with the Flare 2 we saw the dual strap. Um, but this only comes with the one, yes. So it does come with the strap. The reason why this is still wrapped up is because I am one of the few people who 
does not like this strap. I don't like the 1.5 inch straps. I talked about this in my Instagram story, um, but I'll go ahead and quickly say it here. Um, they're not bad and they're not uncomfortable, but I have like small sloped shoulders. And so there's not much real estate on my shoulder to begin with. This strap is not gonna sit all the way up here on me. If it did, that would be great and the strap would work for me. But this strap is gonna actually sit right here at the very edge of my shoulder. And that means it is constantly slipping off of my shoulder. Even if I have, like, I know I'm wearing a tank top. Even if I have, like, a regular, like, you know, sleeve here, it, it still does that. That's just the way it is with the uh, one and a half inch straps. Not the strap's fault. It's my anatomy. Um, whereas if we take the one inch strap, it sits, it's got plenty of room before it reaches the, the slope, the curve of my shoulder, and it never slips off my shoulder. That's why I prefer these straps. Um, not hating on Lug for providing the, the guitar one and a half inch straps. I know a lot of people love them, but they're just not for me. So just wanted to mention that they do come with the wider straps. So that's what you're getting with your Dory. And it is the matching strap. It's not the coordinating strap. Again, that comes from my kit. Let's jump into this review. I will go ahead and stick measurements on the screen here real quickly so you could see uh, how how wide, uh, the depth, the height of this bag, and also like all of the one and a half inch strap uh, measurements. I know they always put like how long you can extend it and stuff. So I'll put all of that right there. Um, and I, I will also put it in the description box if I can remember, but I'll at least stick it here. You do get these fabulous little grab handles. So I'm, I'm gonna uh, make some comments here because I know some people might have watched my Instagram story and they probably are like, well, you said this over here, but you're saying this in your YouTube video. Well, that's why I'm gonna reference back to that because I, five months later, I like this bag now. So some of the comments that I made back then I've either gotten used to those features or I discovered I like those features. So this is one of the features that I talked about in that Instagram story and saying that these grab handles are a little st on the stiffer side. They're not like, and I brought this in because I am going to do a comparison because these two bags are very, very similar. This is the La Sport Sac Small Jenny in their classic black color. And you'll see that their grab handles are flat and they're webbed and it's like this blended polyester, nylon type material. They're very comfortable in the hand and they sit flat. Whereas if we, if we look at the lug, I mean, they are rolled over. So you see this is like the one and a half inch kind of strap that goes up and then they do fold it over. It's very stiff. Well, here's how I fixed that for myself. When I got this in, these straps, these handles were very stiff. I just kept doing this. I just kept playing with it and molding it around. And now they're very, very soft because these are folded over. So it is thicker naturally. And by kind of moving the straps around like that, they have become a lot better in the hand. And that's really important to me because top handle bags have become an absolute staple bag in my collection and in my everyday life. So to have comfortable handles in your hand means a lot. So just if you get this bag and you notice that your handles are stiff as well, you can just kind of wiggle them around for like 30 seconds and that makes a world of difference. Also, when you get to use the bag over time, of course, those will soften up as well. Another comment that I made that I did not like about this bag is that these handles tend to stick up. Will they lay flat after a while? Yes, they will. But they tend, when you try to get them to lay flat, they tend to do that and just stick, you know, right out. And that is because the, the handles are attached and sewn directly to the bag here. But if they had added like uh, a grommet here, a D-ring or something, so those would choo, fall down when you're not using them, that would have been ideal because you could either keep them sticking up or have them laying down. No matter what your preference is, you get that if they had attached it with the ring. Um, with the La Sport Sack, which I will occasionally pull in and out here, you don't necessarily have that problem because of the fabric of these handles. They're different, they're softer, they're more pliable, they're more manipulative. So there's my little Lando back there. 
Uh, so you can have them stand up like this or you can kind of force them to lie down and look at that. They don't stick up like this, like the lug one does when you try to lay them down. They, they do lay down on the side. And another comment is when you're wearing this crossbody and you have these laying down, these are so soft. They're nothing. They're literally just soft fabric, so you're not going to feel them on your side. With the lug ones, um, so as, as I've been wearing these these two uh, dories, I, I just keep the handles up. I don't even try to force them down anymore because I don't care. I actually like them up now, uh, surprisingly. I, I like them like this. So I don't force them down. So I can't really speak to how this handle feels when it's on your on your side, on your hip, when you're wearing it crossbody, because I haven't done that. Um, but I will say this is still a little stiff because of that. They're basically taking the one and a half inch fabric strap here and folding it over. So that's sitting on your side. So I can't really speak to how that feels. But I love how durable these are and they, they feel really good. I did make some notes down here and things I wanted to touch on. So if you see me occasionally looking down, I'm looking at my lug dory notes. Okay, so what I loved about this bag, I fell in love with this bag, is because of that Lux, um, I don't know if that's what they call their oversized basket weave. I think that might be what it is. I'll, I'll stick a photo of like their original basket weave look here. I'm, again, I'm not sure that's what they're calling this, but I love this. This is such a modern quilt look. And... That is one thing I really applaud Lug for because they are not afraid to experiment with different quilting styles. They have all different kinds. So if you're looking for like a fun, different look in your bag, Lug has that. I love this look. And I love the sleek look of the cursive logo here. And then here is one of my favorite features of this bag that you would never guess if you are someone who doesn't know Lug or you don't know this bag and you're just looking at it like from the outside, you get these amazing hidden magnet soft line pockets on the front, right behind the strap, and on the back, right behind the, the grab handle on either side. They're the same exact pockets, the same exact capacity, and they are fantastic. I love these pockets. The fabric, the soft line fabric is tacked down so you cannot pull it out, which is nice. Your phone, so mine is an iPhone 13 mini. I should say that up front because this is a mini version of the iPhone. It's not the regular size and it certainly isn't the large size that they make. So I just wanted to show you what that looks like going into the pocket. You saw that I had lots of room on the edge here to put my phone in there, but again, it's a mini. So that's easy. Um, and I'm sure the next step up, like the regular size iPhones, will fit. Now, if we're talking about your iPhone, I don't know what number they're on right now. 13 Max, I think. With a case, I don't know if that's going to fit in here. I don't have one to demo for you. but And this is one of the notes that I made. It's not a complaint, but maybe just a recommendation for lug and again they're probably not watching or anything but I think it would be better if they took so you see that the edges of this pocket ends right here they should just take this all the way all the way to the corner seam so you have like a whole inch here on each side that you're losing that they, that could be the opening that way it's guaranteed that you're gonna fit your larger phones or even like a mini size tablet in this pocket because it does, you see that it does taper, like it's smaller at the bottom and then it gets wider at the top. So I guess, you know, you, you can only fit a phone that's going to be the width of the bottom because eventually it's going to sink to the bottom because that's how far this pocket goes down. But I think if they extended that opening all the way to the edge on each side, you have lots more uh, room to just stick your phone. Again, it's easy for my phone because it is the iPhone 13. But if you have a wider phone and then stick an OtterBox case on it, for example, I don't know if it's going to be that smooth. I'm sure there are some reviews out there where people have the larger phones that demonstrate it, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like with my phone. So yes, you do get those on both sides, and you do get this little tab. Um, and actually, this little pull tab comes in handy when this is on your body and you're trying to get into this pocket, because these are not weak magnets. These have 
good strength to them. So it's kind of nice to have that or else it, it is like a two hander. Like sometimes I do find myself having to do two hands instead of one. And just to pull the small Jenny back in, because this is very similar, the shapes are different between these two bags, but it's got the same structure in that you have a pocket on the front, pocket on the back. You can see these, obviously, they're not hidden by any means, but you have an open slip on the front, or what I consider the front, and my phone goes down there perfectly. We have like half an inch of space here, so that's nice. But if you are someone who doesn't like keep your phone in a simple open slip, there is a zipper pocket on the back, which is the same capacity. You slip your phone in and zip it up. And then here is the bottom. This is a hefty bottom for a small bag, but you will see again, it is, it is smaller this way compared to the top. It tapers up. And the other day I was watching a Lug Life show with Russell and he had this top folded in with some of the bags that he was demoing. I found that interesting because that completely changes the look of the bag. So if you wanna have an even shorter bag, it looks even more petite, even more mini, you can. That's only gonna work if you're not carrying very much though because this is already a small bag, even with this extended top here. I have to carry it with the top up. There's no there's no way around it. I. With, when I have stuff in this, I cannot fold this top in. And I don't try to because I like this look anyways. Um, and also it makes it easier to zip when the top is up. Rather, when it is folded down into the bag, uh, you can't because this fabric is, this fabric on the top has no structure. So when we get to the quilted part here, this has a ton of structure here. But this, this has no structure. It's just the fabric. I think it is, you know, double, you know, you got the lining here, so it is double lined, but it's very, not flimsy, but it's manipulative. It's malleable. So I have to have that folded up. And he talked about, you know, how you can have the two different looks, either the top sticking up like this or how I had it a bit ago with it folded in. Love that. But again, you're only going to like be able to have it folded in if you're not carrying very much. I'm already not carrying very much in my opinion. Um, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a minimalist by any means, but when it comes to my everyday purse, I just carry what I consider my bare bone essentials. Um, I don't even carry charging cords in my purse, my everyday purse anymore, because I find, at least with my everyday lifestyle, I, at least in the past year, I have never pulled out my charging cord and used it on the go. Typically, if I'm going somewhere for a day or more, I will have an extras bag whether it's like an overnight bag or just like a, a bigger backpack or something that has all of my charging cords in it so I've learned that I don't really need to carry charging cords in my everyday bag right now at least and also typically when I'm going anywhere I'm taking my own car and I have charging cords in my car as well so I feel like I already have it doubled anyway um so that again that's something I've eliminated from my purse my everyday purse recently that changes. Sometimes I do throw my my little, um, it's the Cinda B Let's Get Techie. I'll stick a photo of it here because I don't think I, actually, I do have it. I do have it with me. Um, I think I have it with me. Should be in here. Yes, this is it. Um, this is the Cinda B Let's Get Techie. This is where I keep my purse charging stuff. So I have like a, a charger block and then a cord. And then I will throw this in my bag when I think I might need a charger if I'm gone for a long time or what have you. And then all of my other charging stuff is in my favorite cord organizer, which is the Vera Bradley Forbidden Forest Harry Potter print that came out last year this time. Love that. And this is the Lug Soprano. I will hopefully do a video on that soon, but i quite obsessed with this already. So I will stick that back up there. Okay, back to the Dory. Um, yeah, anyway, I just wanted to say, I. this is why my review of this is different than it was five months ago on my Instagram. Again, I wanted to make that notation because if you're watching this after seeing that, you're going to be like, you, Kelly, you did not like that bag back then. What happened? Um, that's why. I'm carrying a little bit less, even less than I was five months ago. So that's why that is different. 
Um, okay, let's go through the features and then I'm gonna do the rest of the review on my Whimsy Black because that is actually full. It is my current bag right now. So you do get the gun metal zipper pull. It is the, the full size one because I know they make smaller ones sometimes. Um, you also get, you know, the gunmetal hardware out here. Um, if you want to clip a hand sanitizer to it to alleviate the space in your bag or just have it quick access or a keychain, you do have that option there. I think that covers all the features of the outside. So there's that. And you can see this bag stands up really well. It does have a hard base in it. It's definitely, there's something in there, like whether it's plastic or something, it's not removable to my knowledge, but we'll take a closer look here. So my favorite zipper from Lug is that beautiful gunmetal. It glides, and again, you know, when it gets all the way to the edge, because it's fabric, it's that like more flimsy fabric, sometimes it doesn't, it takes a two hand zip, but also this bag is empty, so I'm sure that has something to do with it. So this is why I bought this bag. Wildflower Olive is my favorite print, and ever since I discovered Lug, ever since I started getting into Lug, I have wanted an everyday size bag in this print. I have the canter. It is a little big for me for every day, but I do use it and I do love it. But I want something like this size or a little bit bigger with Wildflower Olive on the outside. I want that so much that I reached out to Lugs. They have like a, a link on their site or uh, either on their site or customer service sends it to you. In my case, customer service sent it to me. It's like a a form where you can make a request like oh I want to see this pattern or I want to see this type of style with these features. My request was to so Lug did bring this print back. Amy brought it back as the interior to her olive bags whether it's this fabrication or the vegan leather the VL. She's bringing this back which I appreciate and I made that notation in the form but I did ask if someday she can bring this print out, out as an exterior print again someday. So that's how much I love this wildflower olive. It is just stunning. So you have a beautiful rich and warm olive background with lovely oranges. We have like a sunset orange here. Um, white, blue, um, actually no, that's more of a teal. It's kind of coming out blue on the camera, this flower here, but it is more of a teal. It's just a teensy bit washed out on my camera, but it's just gorgeous. Then you've got like blacks and like a darker olive and like cream flowers on there. These are like more of a cream in person. It's just wonderful. That's the whole reason why I bought this bag. And when I saw it, I was like, I can pair that with my wildflower olive strap I wore I wore this for a week so I've already used this one I decided a couple of days ago to switch into the whimsy black because I'm obsessed with that print so let's get into the features here so this is the this part of the, this panel up here has no features because again it is that flexible fabric so we don't get to the zipper pocket until all the way down here so it takes about a good I don't know three, four inches maybe until we get to the organization in this, in this bag, which we'll talk about once the bag we demo on the full one here. Um, but you have a privacy zipper pocket and I just have the tag in there. And then two elasticized cargo pockets, neither of which are soft lined. And then there's the base. So I wanted to see. So some of the lug bags have it's not a removable base, but it like folds up so you can like store the bag flat. This one is completely tacked down. So there's that. We also have the bungee key leash over in the corner. And you'll see that's also positioned quite far down the bag, right in line with the zipper and cargo pockets. And then switching to the other side, we have a clear view pocket. And hopefully within that clear view pocket, you can see it's really hard because, again, this is so far down in the bag. It says Dory Mini on the inside. So there is that clear view. So it's it's very hard to see, not in per, not hard to see in person, but it is hard to access these pockets in person if your bag is full. And I did talk about that in my Instagram story several months ago because that was one of my negatives. Now I see why Amy did that though. That's why it's not a negative to me anymore because I understand why she put those so far down in the bag. You can't put pockets really on 
flimsy material like this. So she had to position it. So you see that big seam right there? That's where this part ends. So she had to position those down there. There was no other way around it. And honestly, I find myself not really using the organization inside. And that's what makes this bag great for me because I'm able to fit all my stuff and not have everything be extremely hard to access because of all these pockets. I put go my cat's down here. He's licking my leg. Um, yeah, so that is all the organization. So we're going to go ahead and put the olive aside here. Just kind of put it in my backdrop and bring out the whimsy black. So same features. Um, this came with, again, the matching strap. It is the 1.5 inch strap. I really, for my my own selfish needs. I really wish this was, was the one inch because I want to match this so bad. But because this is a black base, it was easy for me to take the black strap off of my Lug Ranger bag and pair this. And I think it looks great. It matches. Um, but I'm kind of hoping that Lug either releases the one inch straps in this print, you know, because they sell straps separately. You can do that. Or they release a bag that I like that has the one inch strap in this color because I will take that strap and use it for my Whimsy Black. I also have more Whimsy Black coming, um, so stay tuned. Hopefully I can keep up this video thing. And that was my cat, he just fell on the table there. I am just hoping that someday I can get that because these are just not for me, but I will keep them nice and wrapped up just in case maybe someday I am able to use them and they're fine. So we'll just have to see about that. Um, yeah, so, yep, same, same pockets. We're just going to have a different color fabric in there. It's like a lighter blue. But again, this is my everyday bag right now, so there is stuff in here. So, in this pocket, I have a pack of gum, a Bath & Body Works brand hand sanitizer over in that corner, and then I do have my car keys, car and house keys, with a Vera Bradley Lane, uh, wrist strap. So all of that fits in there very nicely, and I like the security of the magnet because it doesn't just come undone out of nowhere. And then I think I just have a movie ticket in here, or a receipt, and then just to show you while the bag is full, here's my phone. Oh, the magnet closed. And there it is. So let's, let's take a look at the bag. Full width here, fully full. This is what she looks like. And actually, I know I'm kind of all over the place with this video, but I want to try it on while it's full so you can get a, a look at what it looks like on the body. This is what the bag looks like on the body. It's got like a bucket-like shape to it, which I really like. Again, I've gotten used to the handle sticking up before. I did not like that. I wanted them to fall down. And I think even if Lug someday made adjustments to this style, because they constantly make adjustments to their bags, uh, depending on customer feedback. So someday if they do add D-rings, so this naturally flaps down, I would be okay with that as well, because I do like that overall look of the straps lying down. But I don't mind them up on this particular bag. It makes it even easier just to kind of grab it and take it off your body. Uh, here's the base again. Um, so that is kind of like a side view of the bag. And I know these two bags are in completely different classes, completely different categories, but just in case you have the Lug Soprano, um, this is what they look like side by side. So just so you can get an idea. I don't really have any other bags to compare it to besides that one. And of course the small Jenny, which I said they are very similar in capacity and size. I do find that I can squeeze a teensy bit more in this one. I think it has to do because the fabric is a lot more lightweight and flexible. This one's lightweight too, but it is, I think because of the quilting and the layered pockets especially, it's thicker. And um, this one's a little more simplified. So I feel like bags that have more simplified interiors, you can fit a little bit more. Sometimes or there is such thing as too much organization. Um, not that I'm complaining about Lug's organization, you know I love it, but I feel like I can just get a little bit more in this. And the base is smaller, even. 
and I feel like I can still fit more in this small Jenny. So, I just, again, I think it's all about the fabric, the overall rounder shape of it uh, that contributes to that. So, anyways, that's what that looks like. And let's go ahead and get into it. So, again, as I mentioned to you earlier, I'm not able, at least for me, I can't push this down into the bag like Russell had it in his Lug Live show. He was able to, and some of the bags were empty that he was showing, so he showed an example of what this zipper looks like pushed all the way down into the bag. My sunglasses are sticking up in here, so that's a no-go. Um, when I did an Instagram review on this bag five months ago, I had my sunglasses in the outside pocket and one of the soft line, which totally makes sense because it's kind of made for that, right? Like, you can put your sunglasses in there without a case. But I, I found that this configuration, currently how I have it, works better for me. So... Here is the interior. My AirPods are going to go flying, so we'll just go ahead and take those out. It is the Love Stripe Multi Interior. In Morse code, this spells out the word love, L-O-V-E, which is absolutely beautiful. I just Everything about what Amy did with the lining, this print, this pairing, I, everything that she has released in Whimsy Black, I'm obsessed with and I want. Uh, again, I got another Whimsy Black item coming soon. I hope I like it because I i guess whether I like it or not, I could do a review on it, but we'll, we'll see. We'll talk about that more later. But I'm just obsessed with this print. This print has my name all over it. I love it. Um, so here is all of my stuff inside. So you see, look how much real estate. Besides my sunglasses, everything else sits pretty low into the bag. And that is what I wanted to make note of because you see, that's that privacy zipper pocket. That's not accessible, um, at least not easily. And here's one of the cargoes, and here's the second cargo holding the bottom half of my sunglasses to keep them in place. That's what I mean. The pockets are so low down into the bag that when you have other stuff in the in main interior, you can't really get to the pockets. So when I was trying to do this review months ago, I found that to be completely frustrating. So I decided not to use, overutilize the organization in this bag. In the Soprano, for example, tons of organization in that bag. And I feel like all of it, or at least almost all of it can be used simultaneously without making the bag overwhelming to get in and out of. Whereas this bag, I feel like the organ, unless you carry like three things and that's it, the organization is not functional for me. So, in this cargo pocket, I have my sunglasses sleeve. This is in the Vera Bradley Lavender Meadow print. And I, this is what I love. I love this about this bag because I have this sleeve in here. It doesn't have to come out, but if I'm driving and it's a red light and this is sitting on my passenger seat and it's sunny and I need my sunglasses, it's so easy to just grab those and then, oh, I don't need them anymore. I put them right back. Nothing is disrupted. Nothing is falling you know, in and out of the main interior. I'm not trying to cram stuff back in to where that used to be because stuff is falling. It's just, it's perfect like that. So this is my perfect configuration. <laughs> That's why I told you I'm not using the soft line for the sunglasses because this worked better for me. Zipper pocket that I showed you in the olive earlier. This is the privacy. Nothing in there except the, the tag for the bag. And I just have my chapstick in the other cargo pocket. The key leash is down in the bag. I would rather keep my keys quicker access in this back magnetic pocket here because I don't want my keys sitting at the bottom of the bag and I don't want them to sit at the top of the bag either. When I'm trying to grab my wallet, I, I know I could just throw my keys out and they're secure on the key leash, but I just don't want to do that. It's just not for me. I'd rather have my keys in the outside pocket. But in that corner on top of the key leash, I have my Bath and Body Works lotion, hand cream, and then I do have a almost full pack of tissues. Let's switch to the other side here. So I have a pack of wet ones. Let's see, everything might start to fall just a little bit because of the angle of the bag. Uh, I have them in a clear like Ziploc pouch because they do leak and that's so annoying because that does take up extra space. And when you have a bag this small, you do have to think about every bit of real estate you're using. And believe it or not, that little skinny Ziploc bag does take up some space, but it's okay. 
Um, and then besides that, I have my, and I've showed this in so many videos. Um, I know some of you are tired of seeing it, but this is my Vera Bradley small pencil pouch of the pencil pouch trio in the pattern Shore Thing. And just to give you a quick look, I have feminine products, a pen, a hair tie, a uh, vaccination card, a uh, mini deodorant lives in there. But yeah, that is everything that is in that pouch. So I'm going to go ahead and slip that back in. And honestly, I don't get that pouch out often because when I need to get to that pouch, it is actually, let's see if I can do this on camera. Um, I can just unzip it, get what I need, and then zip it back up. It's like an, a privacy zip compartment, honestly. And then we have a pouch that I can't seem to ever change out of, and that is Lug's Mini Choo Choo, shown here in Azalea Pink. I have been using this Azalea Pink one for several months. I have not switched out of this one. Um, I think before this one, I was in the Butterfly Gray. I also have one in Sea Life Blue, Wildlife Cream, and I feel like I'm, oh, Ocean Blue. I have one in Ocean Blue. And now I have one coming in the Olive Vegan Leather that I just got on QVC. So I I don't envision me ever changing out of the, the mini choo-choos. They are just my favorite little catch-all pouch. Yes, I do use them for, like, medicine and stuff. I have underneath this little Vicks Vapo Stick. I have those little pill cases that you can get from Kroger or Walmart um, to like carry separate pills in. But I also have a mini pair of scissors, nail file, nail clippers. And then in the back here, I have a ton of band-aids because oh, I went on a work trip last week, was it? Yeah. And someone got hurt and they cut their finger open. And um, I was the only one there with band-aids. And I like I when I heard of it, the, the guy was sitting at my table. And he just started bleeding, and I'm like, let me go get my band-aid. And I ran and, and got my mini choo-choo out and gave him a band-aid, and everybody was like, oh, you're so resourceful, like, you're so prepared, you're so resourceful. And I'm like, that is one of the first times I've ever had to pull out a band-aid for another person. I am always, you know, injuring myself somehow. I use them all the time. But that really, like, validated having band-aids, because I'm like, someone got hurt. And out of this whole room full of like 50 some people, I'm the only one that has band-aids on me. So, um, yeah, I, I just love the mini choo-choo. It fits everything that I need. And again, azalea pink. Um, and then we have, let me switch back. I know this video is getting long. I hope y'all have taken a break by now if you are overwhelmed with my lengthy videos. Uh, but this is my wallet. This is in the Vera Bradley Forbidden Forest Harry Potter pattern that came out in 2021 last year. Sorry, keep bumping the, the stand there. I am just obsessed with this pattern. Um, I just love, love, love Hedwig. I love the deep purple background. And here's the front uh, with a picture of my dog. And yeah, so that's that. And then I wanted to show you, look how far down the clear view pocket is. That with, let's, let's put the wallet back. So that with the wallet there, I mean, that is almost inaccessible. Yes, I can still get to it. And all I have in there is a flat mask. It's just a, a gray cloth mask. So if I need to get to it, I can, it's easy. But if you're someone who loves using your clear view for like makeup or something, it's a little bulkier and you have a configuration that's similar to mine, it might be a little bit hard to get your things out, but to each their own. Everybody carries their bags differently. So, um, yeah. But that is my lug mini dory. I think I covered everything. Hopefully I gave you good shots of the inside. Um, I know some of you like to use zip IDs as wallets. So hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of the size and capacity. Um, but I am just obsessed with this bag right now. And I'm obsessed with whimsy black. I actually, um, so again, this has been my everyday bag for a, a few days, and then before that, I was carrying the olive for about a week, a little over a week. And I went to the, the movies with a couple friends, and they were obsessed with this bag. This was like, besides my Hedgehog Wild Vera Bradley backpack, this is one of the bags that I have that's gotten the most compliments so far. That Hedgehog bag that I have is a head turner. Everybody loves that when I wear that. Um, but this one has been super popular. And I'll just get you in close um, so you can see the pattern. It's just gorgeous. 
if you're on the fence about this because you're not sure if you like florals or if this will be too busy for you, I would definitely recommend getting it. And you can always get it in like their flash cosmetic. I know that they just released it in that if you just want like a cosmetic that's behind the scenes and not your purse. But I just, I love this. I have another purse style coming in it soon. So hopefully we'll get that review up for you. But that is my review try on what's in my bag 43 minute probably unnecessary video on the dory i know it's late there are also um i mean i wanted to do this video a long time ago it's just been it's been a hard few months let's say that so i apologize for my absence but yeah i will uh hopefully see you in the next one bye